Hey, Michelle, I got a question for you. All right, Lindsay. Hi. What's the question? Well, do you have an easy time kind of making friends and sort of figuring out how to connect with them, like with that one person? You know, what is it about them that you could bring out in them and that connection? Is that easy mm. or what do you think? Well, Lindsay, I think that like, I mean, I like to think that it's easy. I think what makes it easy and we've talked about this before is like just like finding things that you have in common yeah um and sure. that's when like the conversation really gets going but like sometimes you might it's not always that you have a bunch of stuff in common that will lead to like a lot of exciting conversation you have to kind of find it you do have to find it yeah and that can be hard you know <clears throat> not everyone takes the time though to try to do it but i think it does make sense if you can take a little extra time and figure out what your angle is i i bet that applies to your kids too right mm -hmm. to connecting with your children i know a lot of our listeners are parents but today we're going to find out about a, a a strategy that goes way beyond just parenting right michelle mm -hmm. yeah absolutely um yeah a lot of things from real life just make me think of you know how can this apply to you know connecting in any situation uh, language yeah. learning or whatever it is um so um yeah i mean this is really you know i'll tell you more in a minute but just as my about my experience as a mom and like how i've found to like really get even closer i mean my my daughter is like a real baby right now so she doesn't have interest <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't have interest yeah my with my i mean she you know she <laughs> eats Eat, you know that sleep, kind of yeah. thing yeah she, she's like so shake a little rattle but that's about it um yeah. but yeah um so we'll talk more about that in a second but guys we want to say thank you so much to those who have reviewed us right thank you to our reviewers <clears throat> and if you haven't reviewed us yet right Lindsay, what should they do like you guys gotta go leave us a review right leave us a review let us know what you think about the show Special thank you to Quay Rio Reap from the U.S., T.D. Tubsen from Switzerland, Donin SF from the U.S. Thank you to uh, Foot Teach from Iran and Yuran Hu from the Czech Republic. I love that these reviews, Michelle, are from all over the world. Most of them are yeah. five star reviews, by the oh, way. Wow. Fantastic. Uh, thank you. And, and one of them here, they asked a question, and I'm about to put this question into our list here. All so, right. Can't wait to read it. Yeah. Great place to put your questions and just let us know what you think about the show, guys. Read, and we'll try to read your name on the show. Okay. Good stuff. Excellent. All right. So thank you guys so much. So what I was saying was that one of the things that, so, you know, little kids, they get really into their fates. It's like, so my, my son used to love like Thomas the train. Yeah. And now right. it's this show Paw Patrol. And like, there's always like this phase. And the second you bought them every single toy you can buy, <laughs> then they're not interested in anymore. Oh, so, no. Isn't that <laughs> such an analogy for life? That's yeah, how adults are too, isn't it? When you get everything, true. all those you things, you finally you get them, you don't want it anymore. Uh, yeah, I'm like uh, kind of today I had a situation where we were, uh, we, you know, I was thinking about like what to do. So I had my son home from school today, so I had the two children and um, – and I decided because he he still loves trains, even though he doesn't necessarily like that show. But um, I decided that we would just ride the train just like one stop and get off and then like go to like a toy store and I would get him a little something. And so we did that and he only wants one thing. And I didn't think that the store we were going to would have that thing. But I figured, okay, I'll get him something else. So we, like, take the train. Like, you know, we do the whole walk. He's really excited for whatever whatever toy it's going to be. And then we get there, and it had closed 10 minutes ago. Oh, no, poor thing. Oh, and did, he, did like, he throw oh, a tantrum? Did he freak a out? A tantrum. Well, oh, he, got very, he got very upset because he wanted that toy. But, again, I don't think that that toy was going to be there. <laughs> so... I, you know, I had to, it's interesting to like try and talk him through yeah. a disappointment. Like I tried to teach him the word disappointed and then, Aww, and like, yeah. you know, I like said like, oh, you're feeling, and then I was like, so what you're feeling, it's disappointed. I was like, do you want to say that? Do you want to try saying I'm disappointed? He's like, no. <laughs> he's like, no, because he's disappointed. He you know, doesn't want to hear about it. Yeah. 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 And I'm like, so to, anyway, but the whole, but my whole point is, um, when he does get into something, 
I want to get into it too. Like I was telling okay. you, Lindsay, we're gonna be Paw Patrol for Halloween. Yeah, like, that we, fun. like with with Thomas. Like I learned all the songs. I may like you know I want to, and I really feel that when I do that, it really like makes him feel closer to me because mm-hmm. it's like oh like we share the same interest even though like yeah you know yeah he's That's a kid cute. and I'm the mom so like. <laughs> I don't know. It just, so it could be the books. Like, I'll read him the books about Paw Patrol. Like, all sorts Mm -hmm. of things. Like, do I necessarily care about it myself? No. No. But, like, I know the characters. I know about it. Like, so I'm able to, like, have, like, this, like, I'm realizing that there's a positive impact of, like, me just, like, actually, like, genuinely enjoying what he enjoys or Mm. caring about it. Um, Got it. Even though, like, I just said, I don't, not really, but, like, he thinks. Um, So, but this got me thinking about relationship and relationships in general, like, not just with kids. And I often have students asking me about making friends. And we have to think about this philosophy. And again, I don't want you to think that, oh, that I'm, like, making it sound like children. It's not. It's not that. It's just something from my life that I realized, Mm -hmm. like, can apply to everyone, really. Um, like, so let's say everyone at your office watches a certain show, mm. right? Yes, uh, yes. You can be a bystander, you can listen to it, but if you don't watch that show and, like, become a fan, you know, right. then you won't share that, right? Oh, man, this makes me think of football in my extended family. Oh, Oh no, does this mean I have to become a football fan? <laughs> no, no, it doesn't. It I think you have to stay true to yourself, but I do think like especially in the situation of I think a lot about like the office, like being at an office if you know, like you're working on your English, you want to make friends. I yeah. really think that like just to ask questions about the show, like yeah. Don't force yourself. Don't force yourself, but I also think like pick up one of the things that they're talking about, right? Like, yeah, yeah. Like, and, and then see, because then you will start to have things in common. So, like, just just try it, you know? Yeah. And it is just more fun. Like, sometimes I'll be, you know, out in Denver and a game just lets out, and I see these people and they're so into the game, right? They're so into the fact that their team won or they're sad. Like, they're super invested. And I wonder what would that be like to be that big of a sports fan, you know? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Because you really get into it and then you're fully living in the moment. You really care about what happens in that game. And then you can connect with the people at work that really cared about that game, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. So I really, I don't know, when I thought about this, I I very specifically was thinking like of an office setting because I just think that that's like a place where you want to, you know, really jump in. And, and so I guess my point is just like, have an open mind. Yeah. Um, and you know, if there's one show that they talk about all the time, like mm-hmm. try it out, try it out, you know, yeah. you know, it's just going to bring about more opportunities for connection. So if you necessarily, you know, if you're like sitting in the lunchroom and like people are always talking about something and then you're like, Oh, I don't sure. Like I'm happy to ask questions about it or just to listen, actually watch it, like go for it, you know? Yeah, it kind of, it feels awful to be, and it kind of feels a lot like what happens when we don't speak a language that we're always talking about how to avoid that situation where we feel disconnected. I'm imagining in the office lunchroom, it's the same thing. Like there's always a moment with my mother-in-law, my father-in-law, everyone on that side of the family, when they go into football, it's 10 minutes. And I just literally like, I tune out, I just look around the room (laughs) and then they come out of it. But it does feel like <laughs> wait for it to pass. Wait, yeah, for, wait it for it to, to pass. Thank God it passes. But it is a moment of disconnection, of being totally disconnected from these people around us. So we want you guys to feel that connection at the office, right? Right. So mm-hmm. you do, yeah, you, it's like you kind of just like glaze over. Glaze and over. Really just like wait, you know, maybe look at your phone a little bit, right? So it is mm-hmm. this, like, again, you, I mean, yeah, it, it, I, I, I have this with sports a lot too, actually. Yeah. But, um, yeah. I mean, I think that, again, don't force yourself. And it's not saying do something that you're not interested in. Like, you don't need to become a huge football fan, you know. But um, yeah. if there are little things that you can do, if if you are really, you know, trying to form these connections, and you know, that that's a way to do it is to just like actually – it's kind of like the fake it till you make it idea. Right? Yeah. And you can also enjoy, I'm just thinking going with the football analogy. Maybe you don't get into the nuances of why this team traded that person, which is what I hear all the time, all yeah. the trades, all the, right. I don't know. Uh, but maybe I can enjoy <laughs> going to a game, eating like a bratwurst, drinking a beer, or just sitting in the living room, eating popcorn with my family. Right. I can enjoy that part of it. 
you know? Mm -hmm. So there is something to it. So Michelle, what could our listeners do in terms of vocabulary to get into it, get into these things, that TV show or that game? whatever it okay. is. Sure. Well, I mean, the first thing is to ask questions, you know, like, oh, what channel is it on? Uh, or what's it about? Yeah, right? that's a huge what's it about? Um, yeah. Then, but then when when you watch, right? Mm -hmm. What's what's something you could say? Yeah, you could say I started watching or reading or listening to blank. Right. right. So for example, I started watching Breaking Bad. I never watched Breaking Bad, but a lot of people did. So I was Same. cut out of a lot of conversation. You never did. What was the one about the the teacher that was like cooking up cocaine? Is that yes, that? that? Okay, that yeah, is that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Or yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. Is it cocaine? Something maybe. Whatever. Something. I don't something. know. Whatever. But yeah. um, right. Exactly. Like I, I mean, I've been you know in those situations where you're kind of like, eh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so take that take that moment and do something about it. You know, like sure. actually say, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually give it a try. Yeah, the one that I did just start watching since i think since we've been recording together michelle is um handmaid's tale oh my god oh, that so one is jeez, louise it's so intense we had to take a break from it just because it is so intense it's good yeah. but it's too much too much to handle yeah i just realized today that i'm not watching any specific shows <laughs> wow that's a first right <laughs> i mean it's a, in a while like i don't have a series that i'm watching no. i'm just like last night like um you know the movie my cousin Vinny. Yeah, of course. That is so good, actually. It's so good. Fun. It's so good. I think we watched that once in an, in an ESL class I was teaching in New York, actually, really? because of the New York oh accent, gosh. right? It's a New York family. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's it. it like I, I mean, I've seen it so many times, and it's it was just on one. last night, and like I was just watching it, and I was laughing out loud. Like it it's is still, so good. It is still <laughs> funny. Like so. Anyway. All right. So what else, Michelle? What else do our listeners need in terms of vocab to take yeah. this to the next level? All right. So another thing you could say is, guess what? I'm on mm -hmm. episode blank of blank. So yeah. for example, guess what? I'm on episode four of Game of Thrones. That's another one I did not watch. Did you watch that? No, I never got into Game of Thrones. Yeah. Uh, no, I just, I'm just not going to be able to catch up now. Um, no. Or you could say, are you caught up on uh handmaid's tale for example are you caught up on this is us that's one that you and i have watched in the past right mm -hmm. this is us mm -hmm. uh -huh. um and like people will be excited then like yeah you, like that's that's what i'm saying it's like it's a difference between being like oh yeah like yeah like tell me about this show and then if you watch it and then because if if somebody really loves it and then you get into it then it's like oh you are like what's going on like what's like what's going on in that episode again like mm -hmm. you haven't heard the pet you know like then it's like oh, yeah you know? it's like you delve into a whole new world that wasn't there before like a right. whole new set of things you can talk about with the person and again Again, guys, relationships are built not necessarily while you're discussing the business. It's sort of around the business, right? Um, during the lunchtime, around that small talk and socializing. Right. A lot of right. you guys have told us you need skills for being social at work. This is it, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So another thing would be just like, what did you think of X? Like, what did you think of SNL, Saturday Night Live? Like that. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't have to be always like a series that you know it can yeah. be just like a variety special type thing sure is there anything we should avoid here michelle when we're bringing this up we're asking people yeah. about these things these shows mm -hmm. right um i think avoid being insincere right like don't just say something to fit in you know like try yes. it but it's also like if you don't like it like if i like if i tried to watch game of thrones to fit in with people I don't think it would work, right? Like, yeah, I feel the same way. <laughs> or the football thing, like you, you want to be true to yourself because then people can kind of, like, then it's then it's weird, right? Because then yeah, that would be like, weird. Because then it feels like oh, you're just like doing it, like it's like feels like you're copy like if you're doing like avoid doing everything the other people do like you don't all of a sudden have to copy everything or watch everything yeah just yeah, choose, yeah, yeah try yeah. and choose one thing and yeah. have an open mind to it because maybe you will like it but if you don't like it that's fine too completely yeah i don't need to just know everything about football to connect with them maybe it's another topic that they have to themselves that i could get into right maybe right. football i leave it for them and sometimes i feel kind of great that i can tune out for a minute to be honest take a little rest <laughs> <laughs> um Exactly. So don't lose yourself. Right, Michelle? Right, don't lose right. yourself. Right? Right. Yes. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So and I would say, like, you know, try and make it a goal that, 
you know, to get into one new thing you hear other people talking about, especially if it's something they're going to talk about every week, you know, try it yes. out. Like, but again, don't, I mean, like, if it's not for you, like, you, that, it's just going to, it's just not going to, people will be able to tell and like, oh, really? like, seems like she's just watching it to fit it. You know, like, I don't That's know. That's weird. Talking. That's weird. Yeah. Don't lose yourself. I love it. Should we do a role play for our listeners? Let's do it. All right. So I'm, who's new at work? You're new at work. Oh, I guess I'm, yes, I guess I meant I. You're new at work. (laughs) So you're new at work, Michelle, and I am going to tell you that I love a show called Pumpkins. Okay. All right. Here we go. All right. Here we go. All right. Guess what, Lindsay? I'm on episode three of Pumpkins. Oh, wow. You started watching? Awesome. What do you think? Oh, it's great. Are you caught up? Yes. I've watched season two. I can't wait for you to get to episode 12. It's incredible. Uh, what did you think of the twist at the end of the first episode? I was shocked. See, yeah, so it becomes more fun, that connection now. A lot more yeah. fun, you know? Yeah. I mean, in some right. ways, in a perfect world, we would just connect naturally with everyone. It didn't, we didn't, ha- wouldn't have to have a TV show or a piece of media. Yeah. But that's not reality, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, exactly, exactly. People like to talk about the shows. That they, they, do. <laughs> they do, they do. So what did we um, say here? Let's see. We said, first you said, I'm on episode three, right? Uh Uh, Pumpkins. Mm -hmm. That's what, that's just the show I thought to name. (laughs) I don't know what it's about, but. uh... Oh, it makes me think of the show Ghost, Ghosts. Have you seen Ghosts? No. It's cool. It's fun. It's just half an hour and it's a great one. Anyways, go check it out and then we can talk about it, Michelle. Okay. See? Uh, Business English uh, here. (laughs) um, And then you said, what do you think? So, but, and then this is a good one. Are you caught up? What does that mean? Mm, Have you seen it all the way until the end? Like, have you seen the most recent episode? Are you caught up? Exactly. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Um, And then you got all excited. Mm -hmm. Um, And then, yeah, I mean, it's not necessarily using, like, we didn't use all the expressions here. I just wanted to give an example of how it works. Yeah, but you did say at the end, you said, what did you think of the twist, right? We taught our listeners that. What did you think of X? Something that happened. Right. Now you have more to talk about, guys. This is how we avoid those kind of awkward moments where it feels like there's nothing to talk about at work. Right. Okay. (laughs) Yes, exactly. Those (laughs) awkward silences. Yes. So, you know, try, you know, I don't know. I think just try and find the things that you might have in common. And if you don't have something in common, pick one thing that everyone's talking about try it out see if it's for you if not move on see if there's another thing but you know that yeah i i think that uh it's just a good idea like of and it just leads me back to what i was saying about my son is like i have like have to you know if i show genuine interest it brings a lot more to our our relationship and you have more fun too. So that's the key, guys. Yeah. So this really is, even though you know we we're, we we started the episode talking about kids and family and everything, right. it's business English for the modern professional, right? Because right. we watch TV, our coworkers watch TV, we connect on different around different media, different things happening. This is business English right here, guys. So yeah, good stuff, absolutely. Michelle. Good stuff. All right, all right. Well, this was fun and. Um, Lindsay, I guess no, no, we're not going to be watching football anytime soon. No, I'm not getting into that. Nope, not going to happen. All right, Michelle, <laughs> take care. I'll talk to you Bye, soon. Lindsay. Bye.